great to have you with us this morning. And uh, you alluded a little while ago, Lisa, to uh, something. Yeah, I'm the one without the brain. That, something that went wrong mm -hmm. yesterday. This has been a tough week for you. It, I, and I don't know why. I don't have anything specific to point to. I have just been. It, it's a sensitive tough week for you because for and some people. This, and yeah, because for some people, this would be a great week. I mean, for, for many people, the idea that, oh, boy, I get to be on TV today. Yeah. That would be neat. Yeah, that's just one of the many things that has me bursting out in tears all over the place. So you just go, like, into tears yeah. like that. I don't know. I seriously don't know what's wrong with me. I mean, I'm being straight with you here. It's just been a week and a half of this. Really? Yeah. Every single day I have been reduced to tears Are over something. Are you getting something. ready to right now? Yes. I can tell. There's, I know. It's really... I'm upset. What is it? I don't know. So, but here's so the thing. Happened so yesterday? I'm thinking, I, all right, you know what? I'm going to get some errands done yesterday, and I finally had some free time, and I'm so I'm driving down to along. Bartels and get some Visine, <laughs> some Kleenex, <laughs> and some <laughs> toilet paper, and some uh, mascara. So I'm driving along, minding my own business, right. obeying the law, as sure. you know I do. Yeah, you seem very law-abiding. And I see these uh, flashing lights, but in my rearview mirror. It's a cop. Cop's behind me. And I'm like, oh, all right, well, I'm going to pull over on the, get out of what his is, way, because he's after somebody. I, I want you to get to your story, but what is your immediate thought when you see a cop uh, in your rearview mirror? I better get over, because he's after a bad but, guy. Do you feel your heart start? No, no, no. Because no, I do. I, I am so... I, never. I, and, I, and Alfred Hitchcock really plumbed this universal human fear of police in his movies all the time. He just, he, he, many, many times, that idea that somehow once there's a policeman behind you, all of a sudden I can't hold on to the wheel. I'm just, I'm swerving all over the road. I was too, I was fine a moment ago. No, I don't have that. I just, I'm, I am. Because you know you're on the right side of the I, law. Yeah, I figure I've, I have not done anything. I, they don't have anything they can trace me to. Um, that must my be alibis a nice are feeling. good. I'm sleeping well. So I pull over to get out of his way, and to my horror, he pulls in behind me and stops. And I, I'm, just, I'm going through my mind. Okay, I was just at a stoplight. I stopped completely. I turned. I had my blinker. I mean, you know, you run through this whole. I wasn't speeding when I got on the on ramp. I stopped at the, you know, I, I didn't cut anybody off. I wasn't. What is? What's wrong? I didn't wrong? feel myself go. Could you go? Could you go over <laughs> anybody? I don't think. So I'm sitting in the car, just thinking. I'm going to start crying. So I'm, I'm just going to start crying. You've I made just, that determination. I just could feel it. And so he gets out of his car, and I'm just thinking, <laughs> oh, for, what have I done now? Now what? And by the time he gets to my window, and I roll the window down, I have tears just streaming down Before my face. Before he's even like said. Like that I can't even stop him. I'm trying not to. I just wanted to give you this uh, <laughs> gift certificate, ma'am, to Larry's Potato Barn for being a good citizen. That's all. And that would have probably set me over the edge. That would have probably made me cry first. So I'm just crying, and I'm I'm not, you he, know. He hasn't said anything to you. No, yet. and I'm not, and I'm not actually wailing. I've just got the silent tears just coming down my face, the mascara, and I just turn my little shiny wet face up to him, and I try to put this little weak smile on my face, <laughs> and I can just see the look on his face, like. My God, what is wrong with her? And he says, uh, ma'am, I, I, I just pulled you over because you've got September 2000 tabs on your car. And I'm just blinking at him. I couldn't even see, because I knew once I started to speak that I would be wailing. So I just nodded. I just nodded and gave him a look. And he goes, now, he's waiting for me to say something and I can't speak. And he says, now, I know you paid them because I radioed it in when I pulled you over. So do you have them in your car? And I'm just, I shook my head and I'm I'm going through all my stuff. I don't know where my registration, updated reg. I, everything I had was expired. Have you not even spoken yet so far? No, I can't speak. I'm so upset. I'm... <laughs> and I'm feeling like a moron because this is not the end of the world, you know. It's just, it's not. And then people are driving by looking because I'm on an on-ramp. Yeah, and when you drive by oh, somebody who's pulled over, you God. assume they deserve it, whatever they it is. They assume you've murdered somebody. Yeah. They just be bank robber. <laughs> yeah, it's just that just instinct scared. you get as a little kid to gloat. And I've got big Como News Talk <laughs> stickers all over the back of my car. Uh-oh. You know, I'm thinking, oh, perfect. Just what I need. <laughs> so, 
Anyway, I'm just bawling and, and I can't find I finally say I just I just don't know. I pay everything on time and I don't know where the things that I must have forgotten. And what am I gonna he goes, Well, you know it's a hundred and fifty-seven dollar fine. And I just started bawling. <laughs> Anyway, the upshot is he did not give me a ticket and he couldn't get out of there fast enough. Aww. He just, he left. He said, just deal, you know, I'm just going to warn you oh, this that's time. Good. That's good. And then you started crying tears of joy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Yeah. Let's, uh, how, how are the roads doing uh, since you're not on? Yeah, Probably exactly. Okay. Uh, th they're actually not doing too badly, but it is icy, frosty, and foggy in some spots. Here's Paul with the latest on your North End Drive. I'm looking at things south of the Aldwood Mall. It's heavy here, most of the way down across the county line, but a little worse on 405 through Canyon Park. It'll thicken up again south of the Bapa Woodenville Highway, but I'm heading towards downtown Seattle. Yes, another accident due to the ice, this time on the Magnolia Bridge, headed westbound over towards Magnolia, maybe causing a problem, though, in there in the east direction. We'll get an overhead look in time for our next chat on Comodies Talk 1000. Thank you, Paul. Today's weather, again, uh, with that sunny uh, sunny skies coming along, but it won't get all that warm again. It makes it was... me cry. It's so pretty. No, no, please, no, no. it's like... Oh, oh my God. So the good news is you got well, out of it. I did, but I didn't do it on purpose this time. I was this time. I really I was crying because I was very. So I there have been, been times when you calculated, cried. I mean, it, you you used it as a device. Well, I say you know you gotta use what you have, and I don't have some things that other women have, so I use tears. <laughs> But if I did have those things, you bet I'd be using them, baby. No, I just, I really, I don't know what's wrong with me. You've seen me every day. I've been near tears every day, haven't I? Well. Every single day this week. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you have. I don't know what's wrong with me. And so here's what I'm thinking. Got, I'm going to go it. on Northwest Afternoon this afternoon, mm -hmm. which is another thing I'm dreading. Well, because, it'll be okay. And I'm gonna bur no, it's not, because I'm going to burst into tears. And you know why? Because they had a little promo on this morning. Elisa Jaffe says... On today's Northwest Afternoon, speed dating is back by popular demand. We've done it once before, and we're going to do it again, except this time it's going to have a fun new twist you won't want to miss. A fun new twist? Mm -hmm. What is the twist? I don't know about the twist. I'm not ready for the twist. I can't take a twist right now. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> got to call her and ask her what the twist is. What do you think the twist is, Pat? Come on, you got inside information, don't you? Well, let me uh, check in with uh, Chubby Checker on that. <gasps> You know, that, that's, that's what it's going to be. And what Lisa doesn't know <laughs> is that all of our three bachelors have died. They're all deceased. Let's see what happens. And then they'll open the curtain and you'll, you'll come out and you'll all do 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 Well, I must say, they don't seem very animated so far, but I'm... Certainly willing to go out with I one like of them. my men quiet. <laughs> oh, my God. What am I going to do? I'm going to make a total jackass out of myself. No, you're going to be no, great. I, we're going to be We're going to be all watching. I do not want <laughs> you to expect anything great from me. To, I am just, I am hanging by a thread this week. So I'm just, I'm trying to get through without killing anybody or myself. Now, Bill, you know this, how athletes uh, use positive thinking to get themselves up for a game. They may... <laughs> They, I mean, everybody. Mental imaging. Everybody yeah. is, has moments of diffidence in their life where they think, oh man, I just, I, this isn't, this isn't going to work. But you got, you got to get yourself up for this thing. We got to get any, you pumped do, up. Do, do, does you know, Jay Buner, any of those guys? Do they, they ever ball before a game? Do they ever just break down? Just a week? Joey Cora. Yeah, that was after a game. Yeah. 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 Oh dear. I think I think Jay Buner, I think uh, you know Cortez Kennedy. I think once those guys get into the locker room where nobody can see them, I think they probably just weep copious tears. That's because they didn't have their tabs on their car. Yeah. <laughs>
I mean, I think everybody, uh, you know, cries. Fish probably cry, but you just can't tell because they're already all wet. Do you ever cry? I never see you or Bill crying, ever. I'm running around here bawling my head off all the time. I'm pretty weepy. I'm, I'm very emotional. And I never see you guys yeah, cry. I, I can get pretty weepy. <laughs> uh, the last time I was really bawling like a big blubbery baby was uh, when I put my daughter on, on the airplane at SeaTac yeah. a few months ago yeah. for her to go to Italy for a mm -hmm. while. Uh, but uh, other than that, it's mostly when I catch, uh, you know, uh, and accidentally catch a hair in my nose and pull it out by accident. That'll bring tears oh, to I me hear every you, time. Sister. Yeah. Or a nice sad song will make me oh, cry. Yeah. Like that, actually the one we just started playing a moment ago, mm -hmm. the, the Harry Chapin song, Taxi. Oh, where you going to, my lady blue? It's a shame you ruined your gown in the rain. She just looked out the window. She said... Good morning. I'm Dr. Laura Schlesinger with a woman whose recently deceased father left behind a world of trouble in his will. Doesn't he road check again with Lisa? Ice, ice. Baby, there is a lot of it out there in some spots, so you're going to have to be extra careful. There's an accident on the Magnolia Bridge that Paul Tosh is up over and checking out in Como Sky 1. Indeed, there are injuries here. The good news is, if there's any good news at all, it is westbound. So most of you coming out of Magnolia try to get into downtown Seattle. This is not going to affect you. There are injuries here. This is due to the ice. And one thing that's definitely worth noting, we're only a temperature off, uh, a degree rather, off of the dew point. It's just below us here. The coldest part of the morning is right as the sun comes up. We may see some more fog here form in the next 15 minutes. The temperature will drop briefly. That may mean more ice. So, again, just uh, another reminder, keep it slow this morning. We'll update traffic shortly on Come On News Talk 1000. From the University of Washington, 15 of the country's best and brightest college students will match wits for a $50,000 grand prize in a brand new Volvo Sport Coupe Jeopardy! Wednesday nights, I mean weeknights at 7.30 p.m. on ABC7. Let's check in with Judith Cochran at Bank of America Investment Services with a Como Money Minute, sponsored by Jorvi Roofing. Good morning, Judith. Good morning, Pat. Well, anticipation of slowing sales. Lisa? Yeah. You mm. need to remember that a year ago, you were a pin setter at that bowling alley. Here's I you know, and I miss those guys. I miss those guys. They were so great to work with. But we're happy to have you back. I miss them. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> We tried, Pat. Yeah, I know. It's We tried. It's tough. It's a tough time right now. Okay. Thanks, Mary. Have fun. Bye. I bet the people at Mason Coatings uh, do their fair share of crying. You think so? I think they do. Are you just saying that? No, I'm not just saying that. I'm thinking that. Because, Why? Well, because they, they make things that are not so beautiful, beautiful again. Yeah. They bring life back to things that have been neglected or... Yeah. Overlooked, downtrodden. Mm -hmm. Some things, in fact, some people would say, oh, that old building, let's just tear it down. It's not worth our time. Yeah. But they, but they don't look at things that way. They restore historical buildings and much more. They've worked on Husky Stadium, Tacoma Dome Stadium, the Chelan Ferry, Lincoln High School. They restored the Pantages Theater, Lisa. Uh huh. It's a beautiful yeah, theater. Have you ever been there? It's <laughs> so pretty. It really is, isn't it? Let it, let it all out. <laughs> let it all out. Mason Coatings knows how you feel. They'll paint the inside and outside of your building. They'll protect and seal your decks, concrete, brick houses, and buildings. They make it beautiful, huh? They do, yeah. And when they're pressure washing, washing something or sandblasting it, there, there are tears coming down like it's nobody's business. I know. That's because they care. They care like you care. I know. One triple eight six two seven forty sixty six. That's the Mason Coatings number. Can Mason Coatings. Can I borrow the sleeve on your shirt, please? Uh, well, I wore short sleeves today. I don't care. Just let me. The Pat Cashman Show. Lisa, yesterday. Yeah. You I don't were know. One... Yesterday's history. Let's talk no, about tomorrow. No, no, no. Today, we'll... tomorrow, next week. The future is what we should be talking about, not the past. By the way, Gary Hoffman is here as well. You'll hear his news in a moment. Billy Swartz, you were on uh, the Northwest Afternoon Show yesterday. If they had shows that good every day, I would watch that show every, every day. Are you just saying What? That? You were great. You were absolutely wonderful. I was a dork.
work. No, Thank you weren't. You. <laughs> you were not, and I'm not patronizing you. You were great yesterday. Oh, I was the ner It was You were funny. You were clever. You were saucy. You were suitably caustic at times. Actually, <laughs> Pat, I think the word that Elisa Jaffe used to describe her was sassy. <laughs> You were sassy. Oh. You were. Well, wow. you have but to as, be under those conditions. But as my I, God, they'll eat you alive. As I sat and watched you, I thought, my goodness sakes, I couldn't do what she's doing right now. I would have fled. And you, everything in your mind must have told you, I want to be gone from here. Mm -hmm. Why can't a giant hole open mm -hmm. in the floor and let me drop through? That was a bit. And, and I felt just even worse for the, the gentlemen who were who were vying for my affection. I mean, ju it just had to be absolutely horrible for them to well, be up there. Well, if it's any consolation to you, you picked the right guy of the three. The first guy was okay. Yeah. The second guy's the guy you picked. Right. He was definitely the best. And the third guy was a complete dweeb. <laughs> If you if you had chosen him, I I would have driven down there as fast as I could and intervened. Well, they were all they were all very no, nice. No, they weren't all very nice. That guy was a dweeb. They were all Number very three nice. was a dork. Well, yeah, but he was so cute. Yeah, yeah, he was so cute. Yeah, it was. That's because the the you know he's never spent any time in the library. <laughs> He's been preening himself for years. I know. He, See, was a, he was a doofus. It was a good thing that I had the blindfold on because I think that's that would have completely... Uh, yeah, I, I, it, was, it worked out fine. They were all fabulous. Were you influenced because that one woman, uh, that the sort, sort of the relationships expert, she said, well, if she doesn't want him, I'll take him about number two. Did that influence you? Yeah, keep you? your paws off my man, sister. Did that influence you at all? I took her out in the parking lot, too. Oh, you did? Yeah. So are you actually going to go on a date, is it, or was it all just a contrivance? Well, here's the thing. I don't even know if any of those gentlemen even wanted to go out with me. For all I know, they were standing up there going, oh, God, please don't pick me, please don't pick me, please don't pick me. So I don't know. He's going to actually call us today on the show. Okay. We'll find out what his true intentions are. Okay. You didn't set anything formal up at this point. No, I ran. And I burst into tears in the parking because lot. Because that guy looked like your kind of guy to me, I thought. I mean, that I could see that would be a good... That would be a good hookup right there. He's, he's a fireman, you know. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. You know how often I set fire to my house. Yeah. It's just be handy to have him around. If you're not doing anything on Thursday, <laughs> uh, come on down. I'll show you my grease pole down there at the uh, fire station. Hey, were you there? No. Oh. <laughs> but they left the mics oh, open yesterday. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, there's nothing uh, burning on the roads, but, yeah, it's cold. It's too cold for anything to burn. A lot of frost out there. Up in Everett, we have a couple of problems. Uh, northbound 5 at 41st. Northbound, several lanes uh, affected by a multi-car accident there. And then southbound 5 at Highway 2. Another accident, not blocking, but again, just a, a cautionary lesson for you heading through Everett. And one more accident on 1st Avenue South at Marginal Way. That is blocking. We got them going on this morning, so buckle up and drive carefully as you pick your way through the frosty, frosty lands. This check on traffic brought to you by Albertsons. Do you want the perfect party handed you on a platter? Hmm? Then stop by Albertson's Service Deli and order one of their ready-to-serve party trays. There's one for every occasion. Albertson's, it's your, your store. store. 557 now. Como News Talk 1000 from Regency Lanes in Burien. This is Como News Talk 1000, by the way. It is 647, and we are at Regency Lanes in Burien. I'm Pat Cashman, and that's Lisa Foster. And, uh, Gary Hoffman is here and Billy Swartz as well. Is it significant that we're next to the lightweight ball rack? Where they set us up right next to the six-pound yeah, right balls. About that. Does that sort of say something about our broadcast? Or yeah, it maybe it does. Maybe it does. Oh, I forgot to mention Larry Savelle, of course, is producing yes. the show. Oh, today. yeah. Thank you uh, for that, Larry. Um, I want to get back to talking about your appearance yesterday I'll on, bet you do. on Northwest Afternoon, Lisa. You, you really you really were wonderful on it, and I'm not kidding you about that. You were great on that show. Well, you're really very nice. I don't you should even... be on there every day. That show would benefit from that. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> and I have a new twist. If you did not, if you were a working person or were otherwise engaged yesterday and didn't have a chance to hear or see the show. Oh, no. uh, Mike, oh. I believe, has a few cuts oh, from the show, no. and let's, let's listen to a little bit from yesterday's Northwest Afternoon Show. We're gonna bring out Rob. Rob, come on out here. Rob is our first bachelor. Rob is gonna get a chance to date Lisa. Everybody, Rob, come on, Rob. Good to see you, man. I was blind. So right there. When Rob came out, just All right, here's the rules. You got Hi, 60 Rob. seconds. No, no, talking yet. 
You got 60 seconds, and that 60 seconds, you want to try to make some sort of connection one way or the other. You guys ready to speed date? Mm -hmm. Ready to go. Let's speed date. Go. Hey, Lisa, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, Rob. How are good. you? Do you uh, you've been out uh, outside in the beautiful weather we've had lately? It, I, I actually have. Yes, thank yeah, you. And yeah. you? Yeah, uh, very much. I was just out sailing. Do you sail? No, actually, I don't. But no? uh, I like boats. You got one? Uh, you know, I'm a member of a sailing club, so I go out quite a bit. Interesting. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Very interesting. Do, uh, do you like to go out hike it much at all? No, I hate hiking. Oh, you hate hiking? Well, that's good to know. Look at I can't uh, hike in these shoes. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, you're right about that. Uh, where do you like to go out to dinner? Do you have a favorite restaurant, something that's really cute or cozy? I, anywhere is good, as long as I don't have to cook. Do you cook? I cook pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Interesting. You know, little, Very interesting. Light up a fire at home and you know, invite some you know, friends over or you can know, date and mm -hmm. just, uh, have a really good time. What's your best meal that you can cook? Oh, you know, I think uh, I can do a lot with a steak, just start with a filet and work mm. it up with some really good, uh, you know, vegetables and so forth. Garlic mashed potatoes, it works real good. Garlic mashed potatoes on well, a date? Ah, that was not a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Oh, but, uh... Oh, huh? Thank you. You know, I thought you know, that guy was okay, except he had yeah. kind of a dumb laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Did they all start with the weather? Almost all of them oh, started man. with the weather. But yeah. it was that's a long minute. That was a one yeah. minute you had to, had to yeah, just that, make that small seem... talk. And... Now, was it harder to ask questions and to, and to because you were wearing a blindfold, or did you like that? I was glad. Really? I just, I didn't want to see the train wreck going on in front of me. That was, it was nice not to see anything. Now, that was the first guy we just heard? That was the first guy, Rob. Okay, now, I thought he was yeah, okay. he was okay. He I would have been yeah. a good guy. Yeah, yeah, he was great. Seemed like a real a nice guy. Yeah. The second guy, uh, Jeff. I'm assuming, is, is coming up next year, and uh, this is the guy you ultimately picked. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's, and you'll know why after you hear the third Because guy, he, he's, he spent guy. some time thinking about a good opening line. Uh -huh. and, uh, and so this is that. Here it is. Yes, sir. All right. Three, two, one. 60 second speed date. Go. Okay. So do you come here often, Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a beautiful sunny day outside right now. Uh -huh. So if we didn't have to be here, what would you like to go do? Uh, well, do, are there any bars nearby? A bunch of bars. Okay. We could we'll definitely grab a go cocktail shoot some, right about yeah, now. Yeah, we go shoot some pole. Do you shoot pole? I do shoot pole. I'm not very good at it, though, are you? Uh, no, I'm not at all. But well, that doesn't matter. Then we'll play fine. Yeah, exactly. No, nope, plenty of time left. <laughs> Uh, if it was a rainy day and you had to stay inside, uh -huh. what would you want to do inside? Uh, I'd want to see you fix something. Fix something yeah. around the house? Yeah. Like a hammer, a crowbar, yeah. something like that? Uh -huh. You got a chainsaw? No, do you, sure. you got a tool belt? I got a big belt. Are you afraid of spiders? Not afraid of spiders. Rats? Rats? No, don't Snakes? Not nope. All right. Dogs? How about you? Are you afraid of rats and snakes? Yeah, I am. Well, then, okay, I'll kill them for you. How's thank that? you. No, I'm, I'm always there for you, Lisa. Just oh, really? All right. Thank yeah. you for that. How much time do we have? I don't know. <laughs> See, this is going too uh, fast. I, I just want to take things slow. So do you have a dog, Lisa? Uh, yeah, uh, two dogs. Dog! Oh, that was hard. Yeah. But it went, it went well. Yeah. I mean, it was easy. And to, I liked him. I liked him. I thought he was a good-looking guy. And uh, it, it looked like a kind of guy you'd go for. Yeah. 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 There was chemistry there. I could hear it without seeing it. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure the guy, the third guy, is a nice guy. But he was easily the weakest of the three. And I think even though you can only hear him here, ladies and gentlemen, you'll have to agree, this guy just didn't cut it. Here he is. Let's bring on Kurt. Kurt is your next date. Okay. Kurt is your final date, so you've already had two. Once Kurt gets finished, you're going to have to make a choice here. Really rapidly decide right. which one you want to make. Kurt, come on out. Have a seat. You know the rules, Kurt. you got 60 seconds. Do whatever you can. Let's all speed date. Go. Hi, how are you? Fine, how are you? Not too bad. Good. Got any questions for me? Uh, have you ever been in prison? Uh, just once. <laughs> Visiting, no. All right. Have you ever kissed a dog on the lips? He kissed me. <laughs> <laughs> you? Uh, yes, all the time. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Might be why I'm single. I don't know. Have you ever been in prison as a guard? Or I'd rather not answer. I, I'm okay. the one asking the question. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Um, uh, do you have any questions for me? <laughs> <laughs> that, you beat me to it. I was going to ask you if you'd ever been in prison. Mm -hmm. So, Come on. were you a guard or inmate? I do have a question for you. All right. Jillian Anderson or Pamela Anderson? Four. <laughs> <laughs> Pamela. Pamela. Come on, buddy. All right, I guess that's very 
interesting. It's very interesting. Who would you choose? Jillian uh, Anderson, I would have to take. Same here. Yeah. That's, how it went. that's, enough, that's yeah. enough of that, Mike. Yeah, see, he just, he just, he kind of just parroted whatever you said to him. He was He's not creeping good. me out. Yeah. 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 So, so anyway. I think you made the right decision. Yeah. So. And will you actually go on a date with uh, the third, the second guy? What's his name? His name's Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. Are you? you are, did you? Well, make I haven't plans? said any. I haven't set anything up with him, so I don't know. I probably, I'll never. I'm probably never going to. Here's an again. idea. Tailgate party tomorrow at the billiard parlor. You both like to shoot pool. I'm thinking maybe yeah. you could both just kind of show up there tomorrow at 12.15. You know, Not a Julian's. bad idea, Bill. He kind of left Northwest Afternoon in a hurry. I never did get his number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We are at Regency Lanes in Burien right now. I'm going to just ankle around here and talk to some of the folks here. We've got a lot of folks here, but uh, plenty of room for more. Excuse me. Here's somebody bowling right now. Excuse me, ma'am. What is your name? Good morning. I'm Dr. Laura Schlesinger with a recent listener who didn't know all the facts before she made a very unfortunate promise. The pound. Lisa, on the line with us right now <laughs> is the guy that uh, you selected as your date yesterday on Northwest Afternoon. Uh -oh. Jeff. Uh -oh. How do I look, Pat? How you do look, I look? You do look, I look great. Look okay? Good morning, Jeff. Hi, good morning. Hello, Jeff. Hi, Hi Lisa. Jeff, you're the man. Uh, now, is it your intentions... Uh, what are your intentions? I have nothing but honorable intentions with Lisa. All right. Now... <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> now, when you say honorable, that means one thing to me, but it might mean something different to you. What What are your intentions, specifically? Well, I was talking to a lady that brought her own uh, blindfold with her to a television show, so I'm, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what she had in mind. Well, you know, you, you always got to be prepared. You know, always got to be prepared. That's certainly now, what I look for in a date. Now, tell Pat how excruciating that whole deal was That was for about him. the most painful one minute of my life. I was dripping the sweat. He, he was. He was really wet when he came on the stage. He you did wet. a great you did a great job, Jeff, and that was a nice opening line. Huh? And uh, you displayed a great sense of humor and uh, I know Lisa goes for that big time. Well it was Our, a lot of fun talking with Lisa. She's a pretty pretty easy lady to talk to. So I yeah, and an easy it. pretty lady too. Yes she is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone out there listening has no, no idea. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. <laughs> now are you gonna actually go on a date with her? I believe that we're supposed to go have dinner or something fun. You're supposed to. Yeah, yeah. we're supposed it's to. It's obligatory. Yeah. Well, what's the what's the plan? Do you have a dinner place in mind? Well, they gave us some coupons for what 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 is it for Astro Foods? What is uh, it? For? I believe it was Atlas Foods. Atlas in, Foods. In a university district, I guess I'm giving them Atlas a Foods and Moving Lines. Doesn't it sound like a grocery store? Yeah. We're gonna go grazing through the deli section. I think. It sounds like a cozy little place for two. Yeah. yeah. We'll 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 have fun. We'll I'm thinking you ought to pre function and shoot some pool at the billiard place at 12:15. Uh, Can you make it? You know, Bill keeps gunning Maybe for this. Could, he just uh, wants to get you I'm out there. I'm trying to play yin to the matchmaker. Yeah. Come on, baby. Maybe we could go bowling, too, just for fun. Yeah, you should come down here, Jeff, so everybody can ogle you. I I certainly wish I could. However, I do have to work today. Uh -huh. See, now that's good. Before. But he's a working man. Yeah, oh, I he know has a good. job. Yeah. Yes, Absolutely. I have a job and I have teeth. Those were the two big things she was yeah. looking for. Yeah, how many teeth do you have, all told? I have all of them in there, sir. Do you really? And they're your yeah. own? <laughs> That's Ex huge. Excellent dental care. I'm and very pleased. Filed to a nice point. That's great. Um, are you are you a strapping? Uh, I mean, are you a muscular, well sculpted visage of a man? Uh, well, I'm taller than her, and I weigh more than her, so. Barely. Uh, yeah. It's a little thing. I don't That's think the right. people on the radio really understand. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, 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 uh, uh, I, I was rooting for you as soon as I saw you on yesterday. I said, That's the, that's the guy right there. You know what? I was on the stage with, uh, I see with two other guys, and they were just the nicest guys up there. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you probably would have had a great time with any one of us. Well, I don't know about that third guy. <laughs> he was, he was kind of a dweeb. <laughs> Uh, somebody to take along to a funeral. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think a good date for that. With him, so. <laughs> hey, Jeff, thanks for calling us today. I'm, I'm glad you didn't ditch me. I was afraid I'd never hear or see you again. You will certainly hear from me again, Lisa. All right, Jeff. Yeah. Oh. He's just going to rip my heart out like all the others. No. Yes, he is. I got a good feeling about oh. him. He'll, he'll, he might rip your spleen out, but... He'll leave your heart alone. I, oh, I've got a good feeling gosh. about him. How are the roads going right at oh, the moment? Well, I hope you don't have a good feeling about those because you'd be wrong. Uh, we, we
And it is sunshiny outside right now. Very nice looking day until you're actually standing out there in your underwear, and then it's uh, a little on the chilly side. Do we have to uh, play some commercials here, Mike? No. No. Nope. Yeah. Oh, that is sweet. <laughs> well, we're going to check in with Fred Hopkins in just a moment. But before we do that, uh, he was down here a little earlier this morning. He is on the road right now, but he has something to offer. It is... Clem Flurm, everyone. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for taking my call. Thank you, Clem, <laughs> for making live, the call. Live from inside the empty kingdom. You are. Yeah. Doesn't it sound like it? Kind of does, yeah. Or maybe from the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Boy, that's annoying, huh? Yeah, it is yeah, annoying. It, it is Cut annoying. it out. Yeah, don't okay. do it anymore. What's so, on your mind, Clem? That well, you didn't I have heard on your mind when you were here. Lisa is going on a date tomorrow. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not going on a date tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know when. It, I don't know if I'm going to go on a date. Come on now. Well, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Okay, he said, well, the guy said as much on, on the phone right? a little while ago, Jeff. He yeah, said. Yeah, but I'm. I'm busy tomorrow. I don't. I'm not. I can't go do something. Wait a minute. Now you're complaining about this all the time, and then the guy. Wants to take you on a date now. All of a sudden, you're too busy. Well, I'm busy tomorrow. Well, what is it? Anything that can't be broken? Is it important? Are you having surgery or something? I'm. I have a wart that's been bothering me for a while. If you need to know. You got to burn it off tomorrow. Yes. All right. All right. So anyway, I will hopefully eventually in my lifetime go on another date, Glenn. So, what do you have for me? Well, I, I got some ideas that might. Uh, uh, be fun for you to do on your day. How? How many ideas? Well, um, ten. <laughs> Here then would be, if, if I'm following you correctly, the top ten ideas Lisa might employ on her date. Number ten. Attend the Northwest Afternoon taping. Oh, yeah, that's a blast! <laughs> Number nine. Stop by Seattle Exotic Meats and grill up some muskrat. Mm. Now you're talking. I'm salivating thinking about that. Number eight. Teach him to dance. Yeah. Number seven. Art. Light a fire, cuddle on the couch, and watch Live with Regis. <laughs> Let's play. Oh. Number six date idea. Get matching Como tattoos. <laughs> Maybe co on one cheek, mo on the other. I already have matching como. <laughs> Number tattoos. five. I'm not going to tell you where. Get matching bikini waxes. Yeah! That is so much fun. That's a nice idea. Number four. Go shopping for next year's swimsuit. <laughs> Clem, have you dated recently yourself? <laughs> well, I, yeah, I have recently dated myself. Yeah. <laughs> Carbon dating, no doubt. I, I ended three. up taking advantage of myself. But <laughs> Number three. Make prank phone calls to Ernie Brown's show. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Number two. A romantic evening involving tequila and shotguns. My yes. kind of night. That sounds pretty good. As good as that sounds, that is not the number one idea. The number one idea for your next date, Lisa, would be? Go to one of his Amway meetings. Yeah! How good is that? Thank Thanks, you, Clem. Clem. Clem Flurm. Yeah! Uh, 842, 